Hello and welcome to the continuation video about this uh, CC TL1X CD transport. Other than to fix intermittent power faults, I've been asked to um, do a lampizator mod on this player to really improve its um, output. So uh, those who are familiar with Lampizator will know that uh, he has all sorts of mods, mainly fitting tube stages. But he also likes his outputs clean. And this was the um, SPD, the top one, SPD output on his unit. Well, on mine, uh, the one that I have in the workshop, you see the top one there, is uh, pretty much similar, uh, but I think much uh, more defined. Now, that there is uh, one trace of uh, AESEBU and um, if we look further back, you see this is how the AESEBU looked both for hot and cold legs. The Lampizator didn't have much luck, this is how his AESEBU looked like. And then he left that alone and uh, this is his improved SPD trace. Well, my SPD trace is like that. I think it's much better. It's uh, the actual um, uh, rising and falling uh, edges are really vertical. This is what triggers that. There's a bit of flutter there, and that's what I want to talk about. Well, this is a video telling you don't believe everything you read on the internet. Oh, sorry, we lost. Uh, we lost sound here because uh, my sticker, which fools the transport into thinking that uh, that the cover is closed, it's done on a piece of sticky tape that came off. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll resume the music. Um, so what he has done, so what he has done is um, he recommends cutting off the yellow wire of the input. You can see that he really cut it off and soldering on the output of SPD. I thought this was a bit silly. And the reason I say that is that I actually have done it just to see what happens and then it, I got a trace not much different to that. but. What happens when you cut off, this is the input wire, to the board is that you lose AESEBU and you lose glass optical because you just take an input straight to the output. So um, I myself, I just soldered wire to it. I didn't cut off the receptacle there. I just soldered wire just to try it and I put it back in there and I found that there is plenty of uh, SPD signal on that 74AS74 flip-flop. But even better, it goes to that capacitor and on the other side of it, it's even, you know, it's uh, isolation, bit of isolation to the output. Uh, I've used the coaxial cable there because we're talking here about one and a half megahertz signal. So that's already radio frequency or AM radio is 700 kilohertz. So this is double that. And um, and this is the output curve. You say, well, could we improve it further? No, we can't because as you see, when my cable hooks up, it's already damn perfect. Okay. And even at the other side of the cable, if I connect it there, still good. That flutter you see is the load by two resistors, by the uh, one that brings the level of the signal down, which is 250 ohms, and the 75 ohms to give it impedance. Um, Lampizator also says to put 75 ohms there, and normally I wouldn't because underneath the board there is already a 75 ohm resistor. I took it out because sadly this one is open circuit so it wasn't doing its job originally. So that, that's why I fitted one. But, but if yours is not faulty, you know, don't put another one. 
you can easily measure that by grabbing a multimeter measuring you know inner and outer of that RCA connector well that's enough of my waffling for now um, I've sort of found I think I found a fault that was uh, with this player was intermittent uh, those couple of those resistors they were sort of sitting there very unevenly and they weren't actually making contact proper contact on that board I've I've checked also a few cables that were easily accessible that I haven't done all the headers because you know there'll be like uh, well I don't know 20 or 25 pins on on uh, one two three four headers so that would just be too much wiring and of course at the other end you have to recheck that as well uh, um, the, the display's fault was that it had just no power or intermittent uh, power so the last thing that needs to be done is um, uh, fitting a tantalum caps uh, mod uh, to that board. I'm going to drive actually tomorrow to my supplier because uh, these are very hard to get, you know, the large values that Lampizator recommends. You know, not all of them will be done because these grey ones are Rubicons, but the other ones are just standard Sanya brand, so they will be replaced. Well, thank you very much, and till the next one. Bye-bye.